you are the Lord is with you. What a powerful song. Give it up for them. Pray on down there one more time. What a song, what a joy. Are you happy you are here? We thank God. Say amen. The man of God and his wife is in the house. Ke wo se je me e ba fe de ye Ke wo se je me e ba fe de ye Ke wo se je me e ba fe de ye Ke wo se je me e ba fe de ye Ke wo se je me The dancing prophet evangelist. I don't, I don't know how he does it. I've tried, I, I can't. I don't seem to get it. It's an anointing, so you can't copy it. We are very happy to have them here. Before I bring him upstage, Robert and Pia Kofi yesterday gave some envelopes to some people in a certain direction. So if you have the envelopes here, just bring it. And if you have the oil to open it, I'll use it to anoint your palms. And so quickly, if you have it here. I don't know whether you brought, you're ready to bring it on Sunday. Anybody brought your pledge with the oil? I'm receiving it on his behalf. See you. Drop the offering, open your oil, let me anoint your palm. Receive the prophetic word that the man of God gave to you yesterday in Jesus' name. Receive that prophetic word that the man of God gave to you yesterday. Receive that prophetic word. Open the oil. Receive that prophetic word that the man of God gave you yesterday. Receive that prophetic word. Receive that prophetic word. Receive that prophetic word. Receive the millionaire's anointing. That is your prophetic word. Receive it. Receive that prophetic word. Receive that word. Jesus' name. Receive that prophetic word. That you will count millions. Jesus' name. Receive that prophetic word. Receive that word in Jesus' name. Receive the manifestation of that prophetic word in your life. Receive a manifestation of that prophetic word in Jesus' name. Receive it. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. The protocol people, you can pick it up. A lot of people came forward also. Be sure that you bring it, including myself. Hallelujah. Well, without any further ado, I want to bring a friend, a colleague, a man who is lovable, does unusual things, sent down in miracles. He and his wife, a great friend to us and to this ministry. Say amen. And every year when he comes, he comes with the word of God. Say amen. And I enjoy listening. I'm never tired of listening to him. He will preach, he will sing, he will dance, he will run, he will jump. Say amen. And um, he ministers on that great grace, and on that great unction and anointing. Say amen. We also want to remind the house that tomorrow we are graduating 130 evangelists and pastors coming out of the school one more time. I've told the Lord, by the year 2030, we should have ordained and appointed 10,000 evangelists into the camp. That's the vision. Say amen. Because success without a successor is feel that we are multiplying and reproducing our kind into the regions, into the rural community across the world. Say amen. And we thank God for those who have endured one year. So those of you who are here, register for the 2018-2019 School of Evangelism. And Dr. Rosita is one of my honorary lecturers and board member of the school. He's, he's ministered in the school. He's a permanent board member. 
Say amen. Hallelujah. So without any further ado, giving honor to whom honor is due. I want you to help me welcome the evangelist Lawrence and Barbara Tete. church and I must say it's always a joy for us to come here we look forward to coming here the grace that God has given to us Pastor Steve and Pastor Stanley you don't believe this we can count on our fingertips the days we don't preach in a year. And sometime on a Sunday, I might have we preach about how many times? Five times on a Sunday. We go to Methodist, from Methodist to Pentecost, from Pentecost to Anglican, from Anglican to Presbyterian, from Presbyterian to this, five times. Some people, if you tell them, no, I'm booked already, they say, I'll change my time. And when the person says he will change his time, you have no choice. There are some people that we have to do evening service. Sometimes in the evening we pray twice. So we, we and when I, I get down from a plane, I'm going to preach somewhere. So when I miss a flight, it means somebody's program is in trouble. But we really look forward to coming to Sam. <laughs> look forward to coming to Sam. I love them. I love Pastor Stanley. I love Pastor Steve. I'm only jealous about them because I'm not a twin and they are twins. That I feel very bad about because I wish I was a twin and of course identical twin like them. I can mark back the mona. I told my mother one day and said, in fact, just me alone. Even Barbara said that, that me alone. I'm enough. If they added two like me twice, it would have been a trouble. But we want to say we salute you. We salute all the Mrs. Mensas, beautiful as you are. We, we like everything about you. And I must say, there's only one problem I have with the, the, the Steve Mensa and the Stanley Mensa, the men of God. And that I'm very jealous about them, that I'm not a twin. But I love them dangerously. And God bless all of you. Uh, today I, I brought a man that here that I thought was going to share a little before I preach, but because of the time, I'm gonna let him do it on Sunday when there's enough time. Normally, I always like my wife to bring greetings to people. And this man happened to be a commissioner of police. Uh, he almost became the IGP. At the time, it has to do between him and Alaska who should become an IGP, and uh, because they were both. Karim Muslim, uh, nothing name. They choose Alassan as against uh, Mahama. But he is somebody who became converted through one of my messages. And it is something that he himself will be giving you some experiences he had when soldiers and even police people had to also be converted by him. Uh, he served as a commissioner for welfare and human resource at police headquarters, a commissioner, full commissioner of police. Uh, but he was a Muslim, Alaji Hamidu Mahama. Today is a preacher of the gospel. Can't let them see you. Can't let them see you. Can't let them see you.
Now you should see this man is uniform. Now the encounter happened in uh, Takradi, where I was preaching for which church? Lighthouse. And what happened? Uh, I, how did I come to you? No. On Sunday, I'll be giving him the chance to speak, but I just want you to give him, him to give you a prelude of Sunday so that you will be ready for him on Sunday. When I came, what were you doing in your house? On that oh, day? I was celebrating Sanla. Sanla. I went to his house when he was celebrating Salah. And what did I say? You said, if I don't step on your podium, you will not preach. But before then, what did I do with you when you were standing in Salah? Oh, we ate the rice together. I sat where he sat. Sacrifice. <laughs> now, you sat, on the, you sat on the floor. Where did I sit? You also sat on the floor. Evangelism by what? Sacrifice. And so I finished eating the sacrifice, the uh, most uh, the uh, rice, and she, it was a very nice. Mm. <laughs> and when I finished, I said, "My brother, I have finished eating with you. You do, you do what? You have to go to church with me." Uh, the man was a regional commander, a regional commander of the whole of Western Region at the time and so he had to put his uniform down I said I don't mind what you put on let us go to church and then we went to church and what happened you gave me the platform I gave you a microphone speak can wash a jamme can wash a jamme and then and then when you went back to the house what happened to you i started uh, thinking twice in terms of religion and i realized he had a wonderful way of impartation and that got into me but I didn't want to speak because one when we're coming he told me he, hello he told me where we are coming mm -hmm. is special mm -hmm. that he loves this place but the most important thing is that the man is a disciplinarian he likes discipline and is highly anointed. Now he was describing, so I was anxious to come and see here. But I didn't want to come and stand before the congregation and speak because I learned something in philosophy. Aristotle, Hereditius, and uh, Socrates. <laughs> I say Sunday, don't miss Sunday. Sunday, second service, don't miss it. Please, let me finish the story. They were conducting an examination for their students. Like Eastern Europe, he will tell you. Mm. The examination is conducted uh, verbally. Our last exam, our final exams in Eastern Europe is always an oral examination. You sit so, before five professors and you teach them their subjects. Yes. So, <laughs> a student came before the uh, philosophers, Socrates and others. And when they questioned him, he was trying to show that a chef so at the end of the uh, examination, they asked the professors asked themselves, should we give him a certificate? So Katie said no. Then they asked why. He was brilliant. He said his lecturers have cheated him. Then so why? He did not, instead of listening to us when we questioned for clarification, he was talking too much. And therefore, he should go back for a year and learn the act of listening. I am saying this to say that I can't come to Papa, Mensa, Steve, and others under his anointing to come and make Papa. <laughs> so I am done. <laughs> now, before you get done, <laughs> don't worry. How many of you are coming on Sunday, second service? I have decided that Sunday, second service, we give him a chance to share. You know, we are in an evangelism conference. And I'm being honest with you, I've come here not to give you 
theology or theories. I've come to talk to you practically from almost 35 years of ministry and the practicality of evangelism. Now, on the following day after we met, you went to the Never Base yes. and you start at the beach at the shore. What happened? Uh, Tolo had just uh, Tolo oil had just. You no, know, don't down. worry. Not nice. They have uh, a way of it's Talo. He's calling Tolo. Okay, Talo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, okay. it's allowed. Uh, Everybody say Talo. Talo. Okay. We had gone a training program. They were giving us certificates, so it was left with about an hour. But all of a sudden, I felt in my spirit that I must go and sit by the beach. So I left the lecture hall went to the quay that is where the birth the ships river ships when i sat i was in track suit with my kambu then i don't know what happened i dropped my feet in the sea then i went into a trance it was knocked up by the anointing knock off then before i realized a neighbor officer came commander 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 you fall into the sea when i turned he said, but look under your feet. I saw a shoal of fish around me. I said, is it a dream? No. I dipped my hands into the sea, collected a number of the fish, a number of fish, put it in a box, then all the soldiers came running. Everybody collected. started picking the fish. But I didn't fish. know it was because of me. But when I got out, and I left about five steps, then I saw all the fish vanish. But it didn't make, what do you call it, a mark. So the next time he came, all of a sudden I said to myself, tell Papa, he said, no, Baby, no, this is what happened. It is Sonunyo. That is what we call miracle. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened. On Sunday, I really want him to share. I mean, this man has seen everything you can imagine. And as you can see, he's not young. It's not young. How many years did you serve in the police service? 42 years. 42 years in police service. That's Commissioner Amidu. I also want to have my wife bring you greetings. She's kept signaling me there's no time. But no, brother, there's time. Even if I have to preach here for 15 minutes, my presence here is more important than eloquency that we present. Ladies and gentlemen, my wife. Barbara. Praise the Lord. It's always a joy to be in the presence of God and in this beautiful edifice and with the wonderful men and women of God in this house. I just want to say I thank God for your lives and I thank God for what he's using you to do. And I don't know what God placed in you for you to bring this dream to light. But I believe whatever challenge or whatever you are going through as individuals, I believe God has put an indelible mark on you and he is bringing his testament to pass in your lives. Thank you very much for having us. We are always grateful to be in your house. God bless you. Amen. Please turn your Bible with me to John chapter 3. And Pastor Steve, I do not intend to give theories here. I want to give a practical approach to the evangelism and sacrifice. John chapter 3 from number 10 through to 18. Jesus answered and said unto him, Are thou a master of Israel? And knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto you, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. Verse 12. If I have told you 
earthly things and you believe not how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things and no man has ascended unto heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man Pastor Albert how are you doing Pastor Albert's wife how are you doing too good Even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Whatsoever, whoso, that whosoever, everybody say whosoever. If you are writing, begin to write this down. Whosoever, whosoever. Whosoever, whosoever, whosoever. Pastor Stanley, whosoever are in many parts, whosoever can be a short man. Okay. Okay. And whosoever can also be a tall man. Whosoever can be a rich man. And whosoever can also be a poor man. Whosoever can be an illiterate. Whosoever certainly can also be an educated person. Whosoever can be a pastor, can be a politician, can be a slave, can be a master. Whosoever can be a president or a cleaner. Whosoever. Obia nye obia. Whosoever believes in him should not Hold somebody by the shoulder and say, Do you believe in him? Do you believe in him? Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Many years ago, a man composed a song and said, Yes, I believe. Yes. All things are possible. All things are possible. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. I believe. I love the voice. Yeah. Yes. I let me see that voice. Eh? Yes, yeah. I believe. All things are possible. All things are possible. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Lift it up. One more time. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. I believe in the King of Kings, the yes, Lord of Lords, the beginning and end, the Alpha and Omega, the young that I am, is able to do a sudden abandonment and above all things. Impossible. Oh! Yes, I believe. I believe. Yes, yes, I believe. I believe. Whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Favorite verse that we've all used. And Pastor Steve, this is the basis of the whole scriptures. This is the Bible. But this is the reason why all of us are seated here today. This scripture here, John 3 16, is the reason why you and I are believers. It's the reason why you and I have been bought with a precious blood. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Tell someone that is sacrifice. That is sacrifice. That's the sacrifice. That is the first sacrifice. He gave, he gave his only begotten son. Some of you would have given your mother or your father or your uncle or your stepbrother or your stepsister or your step uncle. You would not give away your son. But he gave his only son. That is a sacrifice. That tells put someone say that's a sacrifice. That is the number one sacrifice that he gave. Sacrifice is to give. Listen to me. If I, you, you can give love, you can give hope you can give assurance you can give promise you can give money but giving your life you didn't hear what i said tell someone i said i say you can give hope you can give assurance 
you, you can give mouth talk. Oh, most of the talk, most of the love we give are just mouth. Leave services. I love you, I love you, I love you. Until when the person die and they're getting to the graveside, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. At the graveside, I love you. I will die with her. I will die with him. I will die with him. When you get to the graveside, say, I love you. Die here sleep well rest well honey rest well honey i love you but rest well sweetheart i love you but rest well. that is not love that is math love i'm talking about love that as soon as she dies or he dies somebody comes and you say after all he is or oh, she is and you start life afresh again that is not love the song was says, greater love has no man that is right around. But Jesus Christ is laid down his life for us all. I said, greater love has no, no man, man. Oh, that is right around. Jesus Christ, Christ is laid down his life for us all. Your mother may love you. Oh, your father may love you. But no can die for you. I love, love of Jesus. The love, love of Jesus. Oh, but I love. The, the sacrifice he said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son another thing about sacrifice is that you empty yourself sacrifice is emptying yourself sacrificing is giving what you have giving what you have that you could have used for yourself that is sacrifice and as a matter of fact when we finish by the time we finish today i'll be laying hands on some of you who will begin to sacrifice because sacrifice is also sowing are you writing it down sacrifice is also sowing there are some people who don't know how to sow so they never know how to reap sacrifice is sowing it's taking the corn and planting it instead of cooking it and chewing it you didn't hear what i said tell someone what i said it is taking the corn and planting it instead of taking the corn to chew in you have to sow in order for you to reap and that is sacrifice and the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever we've got into the house over there for it means there's no limit there is no limit there is no category there is no standard and there is no class there is no what there is no what there is no what so I talk about category, I talk about class, I talk about limitation. Eh? There is no. It means whoever you are. Who, put someone say whoever you are. So whether they like you or they don't like you, you're one of the whosoever. Whether they endorse you or they don't endorse you, you are one of the whoever. Whether they receive you or they don't receive you, you are one of the whosoever. Whether they accept you or they don't accept you, you are one of the whosoever. I'm looking at somebody here who is one of the whosoever. Who is about to change the destiny. Who is about to change the history. Who is about to change the story. You are one. You might not be pointed and picked among them. But you are one of the whosoever. And when they pair the people and they set the group, you are not part of the group, but you are one of the whosoever. You are not one of those who are accepted, but that is their business because it is not them who make you whosoever. It is God who makes you whosoever. He will not judge you because of where the people place you. You are for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him 
should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Sacrifice is not condemnation. Sacrifice is not condemnation. Sacrifice is not picking on people. Sacrifice is as a matter of attempting justice with mercy. Sacrifice! And some of you listening to me today, write this thing as sacrifice is also an impartation. God, Pastor Steve, it's not everybody who carries the spirit of sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Some people, they don't know. How to, oh, no, no. What are you talking about? There are some people who have never even spoken to their next door neighbor about Christ before. They come to church. There are people who have never brought their house help to church before. Oh, yes. I've been in this thing for a long time. There are people whose house help don't come to church. Their house boys don't come to church. In fact, there are some people who have workers in their home who don't come to church. There are people who have even relatives who have visited them who don't come to church. Their relatives came to visit them but not come to church with them. Think about what I'm saying. The sacrifice of even taking your cloth to give to your brother who came from the village who doesn't have the cloth but you dress him, you dress him so he can come to church. But there are some people, what you put on them will even compare them to come to church. I don't know who I'm talking to. I've not come to complicate a message here at all. Because I want to lay hands on some people. Sacrifice is emptying yourself and making it possible for somebody to benefit. Emptying yourself to make it possible for somebody to to benefits for God so loved the world and what makes the sacrifice the altar the sacrifice the lamb or the priest these are the three things that make sacrifice the priest who makes the sacrifice the what and what the altar and then the lamb that's what makes the sacrifice the giving. And in today's term, what is the sacrifice? In fact, what can some of you give today as a ransom? Oh, Pastor Steve, what a great subject. Evangelism and sacrifice. Most of us here, we are guilty of it. Yeah. Yeah. We are including some of us who are pastors. We are guilty of this thing called sacrifice by evangelism or evangelism by sacrifice. You know how many people told Lawrence Tete? Me! Not to go to Denchoboasi. Yes, I went to Denchoboasi. How many of you know I went there? I did a three day crusade in Denchoboasi with a madras. Now, when I finished, I went to someone to go and do what? Visit the madras there. Some of these things we don't publish them so people don't know. I went to Denjo Boasi. I did three days crusade. Barbara and I, when we came for four, almost four weeks, Barbara was not well. She told me, me there's, uh, my body's gems already. So she took gems. She said, ah, thank you for a very compliment, Barbara. She drank water from Denjo Boasi for almost four weeks. For almost four weeks, Barbara was sick. I drank the water. I drank the bura musu. I, this I got away. Then Barbara said, me, my body is gems already. So when I take the gems, I said, okay, thank you for the compliment. I lay hands on her. But the sacrifice in the Shabuasi, where Major Mahama, the soldier was killed, brought crusade and healings and breakthroughs that they claim, including the king of the Shabuasi, he cried on me like a baby. I'm on TV worldwide. At least this, your message goes everywhere. He cried. He sat with me. We got Air Force plane to travel. We were landing down the lift cutter. He cried. He said, this is the first time somebody has ever shown love to his community. But the souls we won brought the satisfaction. Write this thing down. Anytime you sacrifice in evangelism, you'll be satisfied. And some of you, you don't know, but that satisfaction is called fulfillment. It's called what? It's called what? That satisfaction. Hey, hey, have you ever seen a man of God and you've envied him before? 
how is this man making it how does he go through how does he survive how does this how does he get through hear me i'll tell you this with my eyes open anytime i do something strange for god by sacrificing there's a reward that comes with it and some of you listening here today listen for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son hear me man of god and people of god it's not materialism anymore I can tell you this with my eyes open. I know a lot of rich people who are my friends, who are my schoolmates, who are my class. In fact, I've had the privilege of sitting in class with presidents around the world before. There are most presidents in Africa and in Eastern Europe are sat in the same class with them in Hungary or in London School of Economics. And I can tell you, they have no joy. But the most important thing is that when you have Christ, you might not be anybody, but you have peace. You can have everything. You can have all the cars, and you can have all the houses, and you can have all the buildings, and you can have all the homes. But if you don't have Jesus, and you don't know how to present Jesus when you present Jesus Christ in fact the whole message of Christ at the cross is sacrifice and we sang it at the cross at the cross where I fair saw the light when the burdens of my heart was rolled away it was there by faith I receive my side and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, at the cross, where I face so the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was then by faith I received my side. began from him himself what Abraham couldn't do what Isaac couldn't do what Jacob couldn't do what Paul couldn't do what Peter couldn't do what Judas couldn't do what father Abraham himself couldn't do and what David couldn't do. For God so loved the world. He gave us, hey, three things you need to know. Number one, that God himself sacrificed. God himself sacrificed. That's number one. He sacrificed. That's a big sacrifice. Hey, of course, those of us who are parents, even when our children are not well, look how we feel. Look at how we feel. Look at how it feel. You are not, your child is just not feeling well. Hey, look at how you feel. And you take a whole child to a mountain and you sacrifice him. That is a greater sacrifice 
And ladies and gentlemen, the sacrifice that bought us was a precious one. Somebody spilled a blood for us. In fact, Hebrew refers to it by that. That is talking about that by the shedding of blood and the remission of sin. Oh, Galatians put it better. In Galatians chapter 6, that the, the royalties and the benefits of knowing the authority of Christ. When we read the whole of Galatians chapter 6 from verse 5 to 7, put it there, put it there. Galatians chapter 6 from verse 5 to 7. Hear me, child of God. He said, For every man, for every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all things. Communicate it. Communicate it. Oh my God. Pastor Steve, do I have the right to lay hands on some people today? I feel some anointing here. Hear me. You must be a different person after today. When you begin to talk about the gospel, whether it is a Muslim or it's a Hindu or it's an atheist or it's a Juju man or it's a fetish place, you know you carry something that is unique. You carry something that is alive. You serve a God that is not dead. You love that God. For when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, there's a glory source on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us. You are talking about Jesus, and you know you know no devil is able to do a sitting abundantly and above all things. You serve a God who is alive. He paid a debt. Oh, and I owe oh, the debt. I could not pay. Could not pay. I needed someone. Oh, to wash my sins away so I can sing I can sing a brand new song, brand new song amazing, grace. amazing grace hey Lord Jesus oh, Lord Jesus paid hey, a debt that I could never pay oh he paid a debt he paid a debt he did not owe I owe the debt I could not pay Wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus, paid the debt that I could never pay. Number two, read it on. Number two, read it on. He said, And be not God is no more. For whatever the man soweth, they shall reap. This is entombment. God had to sow. Number two, he did what? He sowed. He sowed. That's number two. He sowed. He put somebody say, have you sown? So today people want to reap where they do not sow. Hey, look at Steve Manson's church. Look at uh, uh, Stanley Manson. I want to be like them. You fool. You are a fool. Go look at Shajibo. It doesn't work like that. You are a fool. No doubt, Paul said, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Who? You are a fool. Bull, Bible and Bible. Seven. Haven't you seen people come to your house before? Young minister who claim it in Jesus' name. Claim it in Jesus' name. Claim it. I've not seen people like that. I've seen some people like that. Somebody came to stand by my pool. He looked at it and said, what did he tell me? He said, in the, uh, 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 two years time. <laughs> said in six years time you have something that is much bigger than your house and I say I wish you well but you must go through what I've gone through first I mean I don't I don't have a problem after all if you build a house you are not coming to take mine from me but go through what I've gone through first so you have to sow that is evangelism. Most of you here want to be great, but you have no soul. You have no sacrifice. Pastor Steve, can I be honest with you? The reason why I sacrifice to come to your program is that 
You take people to Independence Square. You go to uh, uh, Kumasi. You go to Ho. You tell if you have a fork, I like it. If I'm no, if you don't know, I'm telling you this thing. I tell Barbara always. I say if you look at Stephen Stanley, me no no me. This is a ministry. That is ministry. So when God blesses you, some fool will stand somewhere that you don't disturb, but they don't know how God is blessing you. This is I don't, I don't know if you agree with you. Some fool, gentlemen, come. I just saw an anointing hit you. My God. I just saw an anointing hit this gentleman. I saw it. I saw it. You don't understand what we are saying is that you must sow first. You hear me? You sit now with your good face like this. You don't know how to sow. You don't sow money. You don't sow time. You don't sow service. You don't sow anything. You just got up and come and sit in church. Boom! Egyptian, Egyptian mummy. And then you want anointing. It doesn't work like that. No, there's no magic about that. Anointing doesn't work like that. Anointing is not microwave. It's not computer. Anointing is not internet service. Anointing is not email. Anointing is not WhatsApp. Hey, anointing is having a reason. Sowing. So, listen, sometimes you have to sow. There are many things you sow. You have to sow prayer. You have to sow life. You have to sow your even. Sometimes you have to sow even your sleep. Yeah. Yeah. You have to sow your sleep sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you have to sow your sleep. Oh, for those of us who are married to people, they will tell you that sometimes we have to sow our sleep. You have to sow your sometimes you have to say it's a sacrifice. In fact, sometimes you have to even sacrifice this one. And sacrifice this one. And sacrifice this one. And sacrifice this one. In fact, you have to sacrifice everything. Because what are you talking about? Stop being a hypocrite. You have to sacrifice everything in order for you to charge, to be spiritual minded. You have to sacrifice everything. It is showing. 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 Let somebody look at your lifestyle and say, because of the way he believed, I want to go to church. Because of what he said. No, no. This, this commissioner, I'm there, is a very wicked man. Oh, trust me, this man. Stand, let them look at it. Wicked commissioner. He follow you. He's going to church. Tough man. But tough is wickedness too. <laughs> tough. Something must click somewhere. Listen, listen, you want to be powerful? If you want to be powerful, you have to learn how to sacrifice and to sow. Because when you sow, you reap. Trust me, if you win, so the whole nerve of Christianity is sowing. It's witnessing. It's soul winning. It's evangelism. People want to be powerful. But you cannot be if powerfully and effectively powerful until you know how to evangelize by sacrificing. It means wherever you are, even when you are in the collegium. Oh, come on. Can you imagine? I'm speaking Hungarian language. So forgive me. My mind just went off the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're in a hostel, Hostel, when you're in the dormitories, collegium, yeah, yes. When you're in a hostel, Anglian college, collegium. When you're in a hostel, oh, don't worry. I'm also multilingual. Sometimes my, my brain goes like that. When you are in a community, people must just look at you and decide to come to church. Even your lifestyle must be a sacrifice. Hey, the girl, everybody's sleeping with you. How do, you, how do you witness? Kojo has done it. Kwame has done it. Kwesi has done it. In fact, Kwesi knows when Kwame did it. You too. Then when you come, you come inside, praise the Lord. It's like, bulu. Praise Onyekoche. Hear me, child of God. You are getting there. Where you walk. If I live a holy life, shun the wrong and do the right, I know my God oh, will make a way for me. And if I live, if I live a, holy life, a holy life, shun the wrong, shun the wrong and do the right, and do the right I, know my God, I know my God, I know my God. We'll make a way in Don't worry. I brought some notes here. I don't want to go to the note at all. My laptop and everything is at the back. I want to speak to you as an evangelist. 
you want to be anointed the third thing and you want to sacrifice the third thing is that you must know the time and season when the when the when the iron is hot know the time and season you have to evangelize and the sacrifice means you don't care who says what that's a sacrifice you must not care who says what if you care what people say you never evangelize you never sacrifice god that is why it's called a sacrifice it is taken to the altar sacrificial lamb in fact that's why you shouldn't even bother what the people are saying because the people will say anything anyway hey, what insult didn't i get after burying ebony And yes, still it was only my team members and my wife that I knew I was joy, I was joy, joy like a river, joy like a river, I feel a joy like a river in my soul. I say I'm me, but me too, I see me. Then I realize that it's good to be crazy for God. Some are crazy for human beings. Some are crazy for football. Some are crazy for other things. But I must be crazy for Jesus. You must sacrifice to win. Also, for in my whole life, I've seen Ebony for less than how many minutes? Less than 35 minutes. So I don't know Ebony from Adam. I don't know Ebony's father. I don't know Ebony's mother. In fact, and I'm not ashamed to say that I've never heard Ebony's song before. That's how bad it is. Who would play uh, be, uh, some of those songs in the car? In fact, she died before I got to know her song. <laughs> Who? Is it my driver that would play that song in my car? <laughs> or my brother? Think about it. Think about it. So nobody will play that song. So nobody will play that song. You two, they say, you two. Yeah. Yeah, the nobody will play that song in my house. And nobody will play that song in my car. And living from car to plane, from plane to house, from house to church, from church to... And certainly, even if I go to a family home and they are playing that song, if I come there, they will stop. Yeah. 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 Our last one. My G was holding a party. I was coming from London. She called me to sponsor the party. I remember many years ago, her 20, 21st birthday party, and I sponsored it. And I thought I sponsored it. No, no, it would be fooled. Every one of her prince has sponsored it. Ebe has sponsored it. Alessa has sponsored it. Lady Gifter has sponsored it. Vicky, all of us in London, we have sponsored our last born. That is in Ghana. We have sponsored. We were fools. We have sponsored. Our last born's 21st birthday party, Michelle. We have sponsored Michelle. Manjin, we call her baby last. I gave money. This gave money. And we were going to Congo, Barbara and I. And I told Barbara and I, it is our last born's birthday. I want to surprise her. I fooled myself. <laughs> we got down from the airport. I told my wife, let's go. It is her birthday. I am, oh my God, the presence, my presence there will just surprise her. And we go to the place. Those days, win, win, win. Everybody, do, do, do. then they say, well, who is coming? They say, Nene. Hey, they've blocked our road. We block the streets in front of our house only when there's a funeral or somebody's uh, uh, wedding or somebody's engagement. But they've blocked the road. So I stopped. And they said it was Manjin's birthday. Ah, the money I gave to Manjin. <laughs> yeah. 
shooting. Ah. I entered. The, in fact, I saw people walking. Her friends. So one of guy gets Doctor Tete. I imagine this brother. This Jesus big brother. Hey. I don't know who told her. She was seated on high table with my uncles from Dodoa, my uncle from Osu. Hey, people in, uh, in fact, it was from Osu, from Dodoa, from Madan, from they were there, seated in their majesty. Then Maji got up, had the nerve to come outside to tell Auntie Barbara that she should tell me to go home because I'm not needed there. I will come and spoil the party. Nene, me no tower be. Or after party, nene, me nene, me no tower. Tell my wife. But brother was looking at her. He said, nene, nene, please. I said, Mabi, Manji, where did you get this money? He said, I asked Prince. He gave me. I asked Ebe. He gave me. I asked. So I, I thought I was sponsored. He said, all of them sponsored me. It is champagne. Hey. Everything. My uncles were in their elements. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Manji, if I am doing a party, these people, I know them. My people, I won't. You. You should get to that place where you know where to draw the line. Evangelism and sacrifice is your life. Write it down. It is your life now the reason why the power you want has not come yet is that you have not sacrificed you have you no no the thing is not magic god is not mocked god is not mocked it's not magic at all it's not mocked. don't fool yourself if you see somebody rising up there and you envy the person you've Envy the person at your own peril. You don't, God is no more. God, God is looking at the secret places of your heart. How ready are you to bring somebody to Christ? That is a sacrifice. A sacrifice when everybody is going to party and you stay at home and preach. The sacrifice when everybody is living anyhow. When people are in school, they have a, they have a husband in dormitory. God, they are cooking for somebody. They went to school. They become wives. They are cooking for somebody. <laughs> they went to school. They have become wives. They are cooking for somebody in school. And they think that is a joke. You have spiritually married the man. You have not sacrificed. Because if you have a future, this, in fact, sacrifice in evangelism also gives you a future. How did you think some people survived the ministry? The sacrifice of the past. Psalm 11 verse 3, for if the foundations have been destroyed, what can the righteous do? Your, your song must be composed. We are marching to Zion Ooh. Beautiful Beautiful Zion We are marching upwards to Zion The beautiful city of Oh we are marching up We are marching unto Zion and yes, we fall short. We all fall short. Because you are either a soul winner or you're a backslider. Write it down. You are either a soul winner or you are a backslider. And most of us we are backsliders. Because we don't have a testimony enough to witness. A testimony is a sacrifice. 
The testimony is when you are about to speak about the gospel and you are not guilty of what you are speaking about. Your mind and your brain and your thought and your heart does not condemn you because you are talking freely and you are talking boldly and you are talking the power and it's unto God but not unto man for they that know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploit they shall run and they shall not be weary Evangelism. the sacrifice after you have sacrificed there's also a reward. The reward pattern of the sacrifice is beautiful. I can tell you that. It's very beautiful. Oh, I can tell you something. The reward pattern of a sacrifice is beautiful. A woman insulted us in Germany. I don't know if I told you people here last year. She insulted a jewel. She insulted us in Germany. She insulted us because we are coming to pray for her. A cripple. My guy says, because of the way the woman is insulted, we should, we, her husband said, we should go and pray for her. She said, which, she insulted her. I told her, what did I tell you, Puda? If, I, if I, we should do what? You said. Mm-hmm. Daddy said, if he prays for the woman and she doesn't get healed, the husband knows that he came to pray for her. The husband will not look at him to go just like that. In the first place, the man was supposed to be a millionaire. The wife is crippled. They say, go and pray. Wouldn't you go, Steve Mensah? Ah. We went to the place and the woman said, we are niggas. We should black people. We should get out of there. I must if you look at my face. Say, Papa, Papa, the way the woman is insulting us, we should go. I said, if you, oh, no, she, you don't understand. I have an agenda here. I have an agenda in this house. The rich man's wife, I will pray for her. I will pray for you today. I'll pray for you today. Get out. Get out. As I say, I'm, I'm saying my hand. And I opened the oil. I poured the oil on her. She became upset and started running after me. That was her healing. <laughs> Hear me, child of God. As you sit here today, you are dynamite. You tell someone what I said. Gentlemen, come. Come, come quickly. You are a dynamite. You are a dynamite. You are. Pastor Abbott, come quickly. Join me here quickly. You are a dynamite. You are a dynamite. 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 Hear me, child of God. When you sacrifice, to win souls, you draw angels to yourself. Angelic beings, also, comes when we sacrifice. And you know what, man of God? I have died before. You know, some, we say some things, and I'm on worldwide. This your machines goes everywhere. I died in Pristatin. Barbara, tell them. We traveled on a very long journey to North Wales in Prestatin. And he had gone to eat kinky and decided to play. I ate kinky. And when I finished eating the kinky, what was I? He went to play football. He went to play football. We're going for Elim Convention. Elim Pentecostal Convention. It's all the Elim churches around the world. They have an annual convention they do in Pristatin almost every two years. So I've been invited. We got to the place there. Even how we got to the place in itself was a testimony. I'll be telling you very soon. But I was sitting with Pastor Sam Labi of Elim Pentecostal Church. Apostle to me, I, at that time, all of them were there. And they served me kinky. After I finished eating kinky, the boys were playing football. And I went to play football. And when I started playing the football, what name were they calling me? They're calling me what Viera? Viera. What Viera? Viera? Barbara, if you don't speak, I won't let you give testimony again. <laughs> what Viera? Ma, bring the microphone here. Where are you going? You take it back. Fine. <laughs> but you are scared of her. Here, here. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. Also, you won't believe it. If there's any medical doctor here who will tell you what happened to me, I, I've never been able to explain it. I ate kinky and pepper 
And the boys were playing on the field in front of the hostel. And I went, started praying with them. So I dribbled and I scored. They started calling me uh, Patrick uh, uh, Vieira. So I got uh, there and I started scoring goal. Then I took off my uh, shirt and I was wearing t-shirt. And then at one stage, my face was turning. What happened? And then he collapsed. I passed out. I passed out right in front of a doctor. What was even the doctor's name? Lovely Sakon. There's a woman. She's here now in this country. She's relocated from the UK. She's in Kolebu now. She's called Lovely Sakon. I was right before her. She, by virtue of what they call resuscitation or something, I would have been gone. When I got up, my trouser, my pants, everything was gone. Pastor Labi's wife quickly lost that one and pulled it so I can get air. I don't know whether she also wants to spy and see whether I'm circumcised or not. Whilst the doctor was working on my chest and my body, she was also making sure air was passing. In no fear, my, all my everything, my properties were done on it. I said, Barbara, look at what has happened to me. rescue you because that same day we had an angelic presence and before the children of God and some of these things I say passionately I told you I've not come here to give you eloquence or give you quotations I've come to tell you the value of sacrificing in evangelism and you'll be surprised some of you here you are the threshold of breaking through <laughs> oh my god where you be called a man of God, a man of God with evidence. When you sacrifice to evangelize, you get an evidence ministry. A ministry with evidence, tangible manifestation. Oh, so for, what happened? We were going to North Wales. Where was it? Where, where was it? What's the name of the, the place? Prestatin. Prestatin in North Wales. And Barbara says she grew up in London. Remember, Barbara went to a brigade from form one to form five. She went to sit for me in Accra Academy, and they took her to a university in Westminster University. Me too, I hustled her through Budapest, through some place. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, I went to school in Eastern Europe before God opened the door for me to come to LSC. Then by the grace of God, I went through a, a Westminster University, and I saw my wife, and I, she loved me, and I love her too. She fell in love with me. But so Barbara said, when you are going to Pristatin, everywhere you are going to in the UK, you go on the M1. And I believe my wife. So we went on the M1. We're on the M1. We fill our petrol. It got finished somewhere after Manchester. I said, Barbara, this we are going towards the north. So we saw some police. But when we saw them, what did they say? They said, go straight ahead. <laughs> When the police post see a black man driving a Jaguar like that with David behind and Barbara, the foolish bull, I think they call us some names. As we are going to Preston, so we go, Shreya, Shreya. In Mali, he threw us straight on until we got to Newcastle. I said, Barbara, I must be a fool, but Newcastle is Scotland. Hey. We are entering Scotland. We've driven for over six and a half hours. So we went to the police station, we asked, and he said, no, this is north of England. We are going to the west of England. That was the first time I ever saw a forest in Europe. I didn't realize that all this time we've been flying around, we are flying over forests. I've never thought of it. That's the first time I saw forests and gravel and roads like how we have in Ghana. You see raw road, you see gravel road, you see earth. And those of you go to London or America, you never see that. Yes, plenty day there like what we have here. <laughs> Proper rough road. That's Barbara. Tell, and describe it to them, Barbara. Yeah, Face it was them and a talk lot to them. Of, um, gravel road and it was at the back of a countryside. You see, you see antelopes and you see animals and you see hunters just like we have in yeah. Africa. Except that they are white and we are black. And so forth, we were going to preach the gospel. We were going to a crusade. We were going to preach that in North Wales. Pastor Labi and the others were waiting for us. Until Sophie, they were waiting for us. We were lost. And we went to the back. Listen to this carefully. Went to the back, went through the forest. 
and halfway through, what finished? Our petrol got finished. finished. Safu, I don't know if somebody has been in Wonderland before. Our Fetro got finished, and what happened to our phones? It got cut off as well. There, were no, there was no network on it. No around. coverage, there no network. And then, as we drive through the gravels in the forest, when the, the car goes, then David will be saying back, Yeah, yeah, baby. Baby doesn't know what is happening. Then Barbara started crying and saying, since I was born, I've never slept in a car before. I look at her and say, me, I've lived in a car. They don't die living in the car. You don't die when you live in the car. Ah, we are late. We are lost. Petrol is finished in the car. You are talking about sleeping in the car. The thing she was concerned about, I said, but don't worry. We he car me at home, call he car me in. Oh, boo. I was only driving. I was driving and I was only driving. And we're praying. We're going to evangelize. Hear me? I've come to tell you some things I've seen in ministry. This thing we are talking about was about 21 years ago. David was only one year old that time. Then final Osofo, the petrol is finished. We drove for how many, uh, for how long? For about three hours. For about three hours. There's no connection, there's no filling station. We're only going through forests. No contact, phone, everything finished. I was only driving. I was driving. And sometimes you are so helpless. I was playing macho, but I was in trouble in my heart. I was behaving, Barbara is crying, but me myself, I was crying inside of me. How can we do it? Hear me, evangelism and sacrifice will give you protection. You didn't hear that. I say evangelism and sacrifice will give you divine, not just ordinary protection, it will give you divine protection. Oh, I believe I'm talking to somebody. It will give you divine protection. You, hey, hey, you are under the rock. I am under the rock. The, the rock, rock is higher than, than high. high. Jehovah hides me. Hides me under, under the rock. Go tell my enemies I am under the rock. Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. Oh, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I. Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. Go tell my enemies, I am under the rock. Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. I am, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I. Go tell my enemy, I am under the rock. Jehovah hides me. That's somebody I say. Go tell my enemy, I am under the rock. Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. I say, go tell my enemy. Go tell my enemy, I am under the rock. Jehovah hides me, hides me under the rock. Hey, some of you sit out here today, but for those small, small evangelism. Hey, some people would have eaten you by now. The witches in your family, the witches in your home, the witches in your business, the witches in around you, because of this small, small evangelism you do, that's why you are protected. So if you do big, big, you also see big, big thing. So for, for three hours we drove with a fuel tank empty. And you see the red in your face. And you don't know whether to are going... And what do we see to the left? And what do you see to the right? And we are just driving the gravels. Forest to the left. Forest to the right. And by 6.15. The whole place was dark. There were no street lights. I feel like crying. So I remember it like yesterday. It's 21 years The whole place was dark. The only, what was the only light we were seeing? The car headlights. And by this time, I don't know if you've been helpless before where you don't know. There's nowhere to go to. There's nobody. And there's no building. There are no houses. There's nobody to talk to. We're only driving. And 6.30, we got to a junction. And which boat did we see? 
we saw two people on bicycles and one person walking along the road. Two ladies on a bicycle and another one standing. And when we got to where they were, we saw Barbara, no, 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 three, no, 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 no. She, was, she was happy. We've seen some people and we stopped by them. When we stopped by them, we told them we're coming from pre What did they, we're, we're looking for pre And What did they say? We're looking for a filling station and then they showed us where the filling station was. And they said, what, who came to do what? Said somebody left some for us. They said somebody left petrol for us. Then Barbara quickly said, no, not us. We are coming from London. We got lost from... I look at her with some eye. Because when they say somebody left something for us, I just say, yes, let's pour it into our car first. And I'm being honest with you. Then Barbara said, then how come I don't know why I don't know why I get petrol. They say petrol. I want small petrol in my car. Can we get some? said, no. Then the woman asked, are you what? She said, is that not, are you not Barbara? Is it not Lawrence? Is the little boy not David? Hear me? She couldn't talk again. Me, myself, inside, I was like, wow. Could it be the police people who called? But if the police people called, who what did they call? What did they say? How is this? Um, so we got, they drove us like from here to the junction. What happened to our car? We stopped at the filling station. Where the jerry cans were, our car seized dead. <laughs> Listen, gentlemen, I'm before the children of God. And there's no need for me to go and exaggerate. In fact, I, I don't know how much I'll be giving here to exaggerate that. <laughs> when, by the grace of God, I'm too old in the Lord. To lie some of this foolish life. I've heard some people giving some testimonies. I ask themselves, you can't impress God. <laughs> they poured it in our car. And the car was full. These white ladies helped us. They saw black people. They helped us. And we moved five minutes. And what happened? They first showed us where to turn. Uh -huh. And then we moved five minutes. And we're straight on the main road. With lights and everything. And then we return, and what happened? And then we looked back. We when we saw the thing, we returned. We saw the road. I said, ah, "Let's return. Come and thank them." We returned back, and there were no way, no. <laughs> because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because, my because he.
be powerful, learn the sacrifices that can help you to evangelize. Now, five things it brings. Number one, you must be humble enough to, to evangelize. If you want to sacrifice, you must be humble. Because sometimes there are some people you want to talk to, born, arrogant. You have to be humble to talk to certain people. To witness to certain people, you have to be humble. Hey, I have to humble to minister to the followers of Ebony. You have no idea. There are some people who came to church. For Ebony's crusade, that under normal circumstances would never come to church. In fact, one of the people I always thank God who called me and congratulated me was Apostle Professor Pokunina. And that person also called me. I was very grateful. Is Bishop Ajian Sari? There are certain people who just they just identified with what I, I did. Apostle Pokunina said mm. some of the things I said in that funeral. He was happy. When I said I bought the coffin, when I said I paid for the hairs, when he said he, where he come from, when somebody pays for it, it means the person is not looking for something. But besides that too, the message I preach, when I preach about life and death, and I said I came to preach to the living, not the dead. For me, preaching in Ebony's funeral was evangelism. I seized the opportunity. I told Barbara, Barbara, no stadium this time, no independence square this time, not trade fair this time, but where? Four court of state house. I told them quickly, do a stage. State house uh, funerals don't have stage. I did stage for Ebony's funeral. I was standing on the stage. Watch it on the Google. It Lawrence Tete full message in Ebony. You see, I was standing on the platform stage. Determination makes you sacrifice. If you want to pass an exam, you study. Yeah. Yep. If you want to win a battle, you train. You can never be a teacher until you've been taught. Neither can you never lead until you've been led. And number three things most people don't know is that you must love what you do. You must have passion. Look at me here. By the grace of God, I'm very educated. I'm an academics. Yep. T.L. Osborne said, Lawrence, everywhere you go to tell them you went to London School of Economics, you went to Budapest Economics, he said, tell them. He said, some people, that is the only reason why some lawyer or some doctor or some pharmacist or some scientist will know that, oh, the man is not just preaching the gospel because he didn't have anything to do. He has been what you are before. He can be there. Yes, I trained there. It's traceable. My name is Lawrence Tete. Stressable. But I'm a passion in what I'm doing. I want to lance. I want to jump. If you ask me to roll for here, if I have to roll on the floor for Christ's sake, I will do it. In fact, I don't have asked my wife to tell you. My wife will tell you, then if that is the only thing, leave him to do it. In fact, if I have to preach, if I don't eat the whole night and I have to preach, I'm happy to preach. And hear me, I know the kind of angelic presence and anointing that comes after I've done that. Hold somebody by the shoulder and say, do you want to be blessed? 
And number 14, most people don't realize is that God looks at that sacrifice of yours. God is interested in your sacrifice. He's, he's, hey, Pastor Steve, Pastor Stanley, God is interested in what you did at Independence Square. He's interested in it. Hey, somebody get a brownie wahoo. Somebody get a microphone. Somebody get a wheelchair. Somebody get a, 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 a Zimmer frame. Somebody get a walking stick. Somebody get a hearing aid. Hey, God is very interested in it. You'll be surprised what God is interested in. You don't know. It's must. God is interested in you. In fact, God will reward you because he's interested in what you did. And hear me. How many of you have lived holy before? Where you know this week or this month or this year, you have already lived holy. You yourself, there's some satisfaction. How many of you have had an, a fasting before? You come from a revival or a fasting where you know that you yourself, you know that at least this one, you know that you know that He is interested in your sacrifice. And that's what makes the evangelism say, hear me. There is a level of confidence you get in that sacrifice that when you are speaking the word of God, you speak with boldness and authority. And that's where the power is. You speak with boldness and authority. That is where the power is. Gentlemen, come here. Hold my hands very tight. And take a gift of anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Man, help him now. You kill yourself. Gentlemen, come. Let me help you. Come, 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 come. If you catch people like that, you'll break your waist. No, let me help you. I do this thing for a long time. It is not wisdom to be holding the person when he's falling. He will put his weight on you. It will destroy your waist. I did some foolish thing here three years ago. Most people don't know. I suffered it. When you sang ko to je 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 Me me in ke wo he di as babra I don't know how Stanley can do three four press up and go and sit down and Steve did about three or so and sit down, sat down Stanley and Steve the twins have sat down and remember how many of them I did plenty and the people were talking and that day Dr. Amanda my lawyer was, my doctor was seated here she, she was looking at me and Barbara so look at me like this I was saying oh, people don't know and when you were giving me fans I was doing I was doing the thing I was doing the thing. when I got up and I sat in the car I said Barbara implying it You don't know, we suffer. And last year, when we came and they were saying it, they were, you, you were singing it again. And then Barbara said, and then you want to go and say, hey. Go to J, 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 J. Bekoto, Tetrema. If you remember, three years ago, <laughs> after I said, Babs, church was gone, the show was over. I was in pain, man. In my name, God is interested in your sacrifices and hear me he's a rewarder he's not a liar he's not a liar at all i don't know who i've spoken to today he's not a liar at all hey you want to be anointed like steve mensa you want to be anointed like stanley mensa you want to be anointed like Ron Stete? then you have to learn to do that sacrifice because there's a reward that comes with it hey it's not everybody who started church in Ghana the time they started that have this. No, you didn't understand what I said. Tell someone what I'm saying. Explain to somebody what I'm saying. Explain. Tell somebody exactly what I'm saying. Tell somebody. 
Explain it to somebody. Tell the person I be. Tell somebody in tree. Tell somebody in Dagati. Tell somebody in Dagmani. Tell somebody. It's not everybody in Ghana who they do program and you get up and pastors come. Two of us. Hello. Yeah. He, he, he and his wife, they hosted me in Austria, Austria, in Vienna. And I went to Vienna. This is a very interesting thing. I went to Vienna to minister in Vienna. And the following day, I was supposed to be coming. And who called? He called no way. President Tamil calls. Rev, can you come? I said, yes. Then he spoke to the man of God. What did the man of God say? Is that spoken to the president? If I die, I'll go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reward. There is a reward. And God is interested in that reward. And I can tell you this with my eyes open. There are things that have happened to us through evangelism that are suffer are real. I came to tell you testimonies. I'll tell you one more thing and we close. Real. The final thing why you must sacrifice to evangelize is that that will make you see God. It will make you see God. In other words, to give you a testimony. You want a testimony? Sacrifice. Sacrifice can be sowing money. Sacrifice can be sowing time. Sacrifice can be sowing some materials you have. But beyond that sacrifice of materialism, sacrifice also from the heart. You must purpose in your heart to sacrifice, to receive the grace. You must. You must. Oh my God. I feel some anointing. Come, let me bless you. Come quickly. Hold my hands. Hold my hands and drink as much as you want to drink. Drink as much as you want to drink. As much as you want to drink. Did you see what he helped? Did he helped you by not breaking his waist? So if you try, the person is falling. You are still falling your waist. No, you okay. If the person is not falling, fine. I'm Lawrence Tete. I, I mean, people have been falling for 35 years. So I don't need people to fall in this church. But if the person is going to help the person that, ah, Bishop Barnabas, come, hold my hands. Take an anointing quickly. Take a fresh anointing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. He sacrificed to come and do the catching. Don't worry. He, Bishop Barnabas, he does the catching. He knows how to do catching. It's a sacrifice and sacrifice. That's what I'm talking. He knows how to do people catching. Trust me. The guy is big too. Barnabas, Bishop Barnabas, Mensa. Lati. Finally, when you sacrifice to evangelize, it gives you a testimony. It makes you see God. It makes you see the hand of God. And some of you here today, after this conference, you must see the hand of God. You must see the hand of God. You must be at that place when you say, Oh no, nay, you are saying, Shedding sun. Oh no, nay, you are saying, Shedding sun. Oh no, nay, you are saying, You are saying, Shedding sun. to evangelize it makes you see God I said and it gives you a testimony
and hear me, I can tell you that with my eyes open. Also, I've seen testimonies in areas that I cannot explain. We have finished preaching for you here last year. We finished preaching for you Friday evening like this. And we're going to preach for who in uh, Malam? Um, Apostle what Lamte? How many of you have heard of Apostle Lamte? Willie Lamte. Lamte. We finished praying for, preaching for you here. Some of the things we do that day, you say we should go down, so I don't know where we are going. I just couldn't tell you where you're here. Cool <laughs> they waited for us. We got there. About 10, 15, almost 10, 30, they were still waiting for an evening program. Last year. We got to the place there, and I just saw a lady there that I laid hands on. I don't know why I laid hands on her, and I laid hands on her again, and then I laid hands on her again before I came to sit down. Why I was laying hands on her plenty, I don't know. I laid hands on her. She was wearing wig, and I laid hands on her again, and then I laid hands on her again. And I went to sit down. Apparently, when I went to sit down, she just took a picture of what? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh, oh, oh! You were there. Yes, please. Thank you. Tell them. Uh. <laughs> After preaching, the lady came excited. Papa, papa, come on, look away. Then she showed uh, a picture, a picture a mobile phone. of how the head was before he touched her. Then after. It has grown back naturally. Right in the middle. Right, not, not. Oh my God, I like this. When I'm saying something, somebody's there to prove. Right in the meeting. When we finished here, he met us and we went together. The hair that was bald she took the wig off. The hair that she was bald headed. A lady is there. She's a lawyer now. She's a lawyer here. Yeah. In fact, she's even going to get married next month. She's marrying a pastor. Now we say these things and we say the churches so you can go and ask, I forgot it's true. Come on, you were there. The hair of the lady grew. How? Sacrifice. When I finish here, people of my caliber and my standard and my stature and my age and my group and my achievement, the people I'll call my standard, they'll tell you I've finished preaching here, I'm tired. But I had to sacrifice after leaving Reverend Steve Mason's place to still go there. And at Willie Lamte's church, that is the joy I left the church with. That is the joy I left the church with. The testimony that came after the sacrifice of going. You cannot evangelize and be embarrassed. I left the church with an excitement. And that excitement I'm talking about is God. You cannot serve God and be embarrassed. Lift up your right hand. Jesus shall reign where the sun Doth he succeed, his right, his his kingdom spread from shore to shore. So many hand higher, your two hands wide open. I sense as a gift coming to the house. I don't know how hungry you are. I don't know what level you want to go with God. I don't know what you want to see. But I stand here today and God is my witness behind me and before me. 
any level you want to go to, there's enough presence here for you to receive a breakthrough. There's enough presence here. Begin to ask God. Ask God for that presence. Ask God for that presence. Ask God for that presence. If you are ready, just carry them. Bring them to me. I know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a gift coming upon some people. I'm standing here today and I believe God for some individuals who should receive some gift. Just carry them. Bring them to me. Yes, receive it. 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 Bring them. 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 Bring them, yes, sentence, sentence. Bring them, I know what I'm talking about. Yay! Yeah. Hey, Power here. It's coming on somebody. sound of a fly as much as possible no emotionalism I command by the reason of the anointing yes men and women here are receiving freshness receive it receive it wherever you are receive it wherever you are receive it wherever you are receive it wherever just bring them I say bring them I know what I'm talking about receive it from behind me from before me. receive it I cause by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus, I command, receive it. Just carry them and bring them here now. Stop, 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 it. Put that down. Okay. stop, 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 Yes, fix that damn door. I command by the reason of the anointing. There is power that has come upon somebody. You better receive it and stop being a spectator. Pastor Steve, something is coming up somebody. People are going with boldness. Also, sacrifice in evangelism gives you boldness, 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 boldness. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. It's okay. Barbara, Barbara. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. It gives you boldness. It gives you boldness. It gives you boldness. Now receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Pastor Steve, is it possible for me to be praying for the sick on Sunday? Sunday, second service, I want to pray for the sick. And Sunday, second service, I'm going to anoint everybody in this house. I believe in doing some crazy things like that. I will anoint everybody in this house. My God, if you're a pastor, a young pastor, and say, I want a fresh anointing, will you join me here quickly? You're a young pastor. I need it. Only when you're a pastor. Oh my God. Uh, oh, you are going to do graduation. My God, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. I did not realize that. I did not realize that. I did not realize that. Oh, Rabasa Rabas. Limoriko Sotisene de Haya. 
Ilaburi koso tu seni le koso na hai. I boli koso neri koso te sani hai ya. E i kaliso tu ri koso na sani saki. Mi ni le bosu kari koso da si. Mi na la bosu karabo sonda. I amadi bosu kuse ke i na la ba. So ni so ki ni so ki. Rabo so ki de ba sando. I ya handa ha. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Let me minister. Sit down. Sit down, let me minister. It's okay, I'll do that on Sunday. On Sunday, on Sunday, I will pray for the sick. Ah, she dare you so, Kaboso Nahanda, Kiri Hoso Koso, so, so, Kaba. I command by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Bring it back, put it down, put it down. Put it, put it down. Can't you put it? Put it down. Let me minister to me. Come on, quickly. Yes, quickly. I command you. Yes, quickly. Come on, shout. I command you. Come out. Come on, quickly. Go, go. Come on. Come on. I said quickly. Leave the body alone. I make her body uncomfortable too. But the, come on, out. In the name of Jesus. Finish, let me minister to her. Now lift up your right hand. Say, Father, from now, every hold of the enemy, I come against it. I receive a fresh anointing to evangelize and to be able to sacrifice in Jesus' name. From today, anything I need from on high to witness I receive it I'll have a target to meet before the end of this year I will evangelize in Jesus name Amen Bright you come and stand here come this is why I always just like an Bright is also a pastor. People don't know that. It's a pastor, yes. It's a pastor. Where do you have your certificate? From Oral Roberts University. Bright is a pastor. When people see him with a uniform, they get it. But he's a wicked man, so he carry a gun on him. Mm. I release a fresh anointing over your life in the name of Jesus. I release a fresh anointing over your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I release a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. Gentlemen, I just spoke to somebody about breaking your waist. Be wise. Be wise. Obaku, okay. You waste, you, you foolishly break your waist. I thought I just explained to somebody. You know what that would mean? After they've gone, you see how it's heavy? Your waist will be hurting. So it's better to beat your head than to your waist to hurt you. Help them, eh? Otherwise, you'll break your waist. You'll put his weight on you. I've been doing it for years. Some people, when they finish, they say, when we catch people, then they can't walk. Then they'll tell you that when Lawrence Tete came, somebody, wait, no, don't do that. Eh? When they are falling, help them. If they're not falling, fine. But if they are falling, help, don't hold them with your weight. He'll put all his weight on you. He's heavier than you. Sit down. All of you, get up and go and sit down. Call it. Everybody get up and go and sit down. Young lady, get up, get up, get up, get up. It's okay, get up, get up, get up. Young lady, if you rest more, get up, get up, go and sit down. Wake you, sit down, get up. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. I want to do this. I've not been asked to do it. I know when it comes to taking offering in the church, we think everybody is taking for a reason, but I'm taking this offering from you for two reasons. Number one, sacrifice is an act. Sacrifice is what? An act. Not everybody is able to sacrifice. How many of you know that? Sacrifice is an act. Some people, they even have, but they won't give to you. 
sacrifice and art. Number two, sacrifice is also obedience. You've heard the word of God say obedience is better than sacrifice. Sacrifice is obedience. Sacrifice is an act. Sacrifice is obedience. But Steve, I came to say these things. I have intentionally left the notes. I have notes. I give you from Genesis to Revelation, give you quotations, but that's not what you need. And I know this church is a practical church. You get good ministers come. So we don't have, when we go to churches and we don't, they don't have good ministers, then you have to do some things to live. But this, when ministers come, I mean, if uh, the ministers you have, uh, Bishop Ducky Ward Mills, uh, uh, Dr. Robert Ampia Kofi, uh, Pastor Steve Mensah, the other gentleman there, uh, 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 Dr. Sam, I believe, have delivered. I want you to do one sacrifice. And this is what I'm going to do with the sacrifice. What I'm going to do is very interesting. How many days more do we have to go to Israel? Ten days. Good. In ten days' time, we are going to Israel. We've just come from Israel about ten days ago to... Yes, I'm going to ten days after. A very good friend of mine who was blessed enough wanted me to go and uh, baptize him in Israel. So I took him and I baptized him. It was a good trip. Oh, can't shock a Kawusu Karika. I just witnessed your first stop. Evangelism and sacrifice. <laughs> Bright, come here. How many days did you spend in Israel? Eh? Eh? About well, four days. After four days. Where and where did you? And we went to a lot of places. We were walking in Damascus in around what time in the night? About one a.m. It was about one a.m. One a.m. I took Barbara and uh, Amate Few brides and my guys were walking at Damascus Gate around the tomb of Jesus Christ. We walked there. When we got to Damascus, Gate, what did you say you have seen? So. Paul's family. He saw someone say, ah, Papa, this man looks like Paul. I said, Which Paul? He said, ah. I said, He's still here. He's looking at Paul. I said, Paul family, bright. <laughs> what else did you get, see in Israel that you like? Oh, you baptized me in River Jordan. And mm-hmm. I like that one. Yes. And he said to himself, Papa, all my sins are forgiven and I'm cleansed forever. I started feeling very holy from that time. And I'm very holy from then. Tell somebody something today. Praise the Lord. I know most of you are very surprised to see a policeman in uniform witnessing to you, telling you about Israel and things. It is possible. Um, I don't want to start anything from now because if I start I will not finish and I wouldn't want to start anything that I cannot finish I was that person who was rejected I was that person who was hopeless I was that person who was never allowed to come to where people sit but one day God brought me and I brought a man into my life who changed my story I don't know where you've been to I don't know where you're supposed to come from. But I'm believing God that one day you will experience something. You will experience that thing that will change and turn your life around. I encountered Dr. Tete about nine years ago. And what my father could not do for me, he did it for me just like that. He asked me one question and I answered that question and he said young man from today I father you I pray you meet somebody who will take your burden and change your life so this was a young man who was brought to me I don't do this back door 
But the guy, when I was young in ministry, when I see a man of God with some people, I said, but who is following you? And so we realized that I'm Robert's Jesus. Some people even, you'll be back there, they want to attack you. Some people, the moment they hear you come from London, they come. Some people even pretend they are mad people, they will chase you. Until I was told by security, national security, everything, that make sure you have somebody with a presence. Because you are going, you are coming, put thing you carry. And the guy came, slim young guy. Young man, why are you not going to school and you want to do police? And what did you say? I told you I had nobody to take me to no university. No, we are talking about evangelism and sacrifice. And if this one will end it. And then what did I tell you? So I told you I never knew my father, though he was alive. But he didn't take care of me, I must say it. So that is said, then you will take me to school. When people are loyal to people, you have no idea. So, I said, I look at his SS results. He has passed. He went to a village school. But he has passed. He are in police. So, I took him to where? University of Ghana. They gone here. Yeah. And I came to register him. I registered him evening classes, long distance school, University of Ghana. And every evening, what do, I, what do you do? You leave me to go to school. And sometimes, yourself, you drive me to school. You want to evangelize people, it is sacrifice. So this guy is preaching the gospel now. You know the joy I have? You know the joy, you know how I feel like. So I took him to the University of Ghana here, and I registered him. And sometime in the evening when the driver is not around, I would drive him myself to go and drop him in school. Sometimes he get out of the car with tears in his eyes and I'm leaving him. And after almost four years, he finished and he graduated in work. But um, BA in psychology and information studies. There was a song you sang, Ibre, what, Ibre? Ibre, sister, sister. Emery dia dani ya dani yo graduation he saw bright bright graduating and he looked at his people today in ghana you are called baby what is his name baby, baby, sergeant. baby sergeant. he's the youngest sergeant in the history of ghana police and by virtue of the degree now he can easily become a chief inspector it is a sacrifice you know how it feels like when you see, I see him and I remember him nine years ago. And now he travels around the world with me. In fact, when we go to Europe sometime in one day, how many countries do you see? Uh, four countries. The last time, which one? Which one is which one? The last we went to, eh? we went to France, mm -hmm. then Netherlands, mm -hmm. Germany, and then Belgium. One day. One day. You minister here in the morning, minister in the afternoon, minister in the evening. By the time I realized, fried, bright, Facebook, and WhatsApp, everywhere, Charlie, sometimes stand like this. We go to, we walk to Belgium and said he want to, he want to, he want to. He, I said I wanted to use it. I said, WhatsApp. hey, bright, I bet you. <laughs> you have to sacrifice. 
Today, Bright is married. Today, Bright has, has become a father. Today, Bright is a husband, but Bright is also an evangelist. Bright was one of the people Richard Roberts was happy to pick on. Today, he has a certificate from Ora Roberts. Tell me, he's still carrying this thing. He's still carrying it. He's still carrying everything on him. And he's still preaching the gospel. Sacrifice. I want to do something here today. Sit down, Brent. There was something I'm going to do, but Sunday will do that. I want to do something. I want somebody here. Who said, Dr. Tete, I want to walk into this anointing and I want to sacrifice financially. And hear me. Hear me carefully what I'm saying. In 10 days' time, we are going to Israel. After you've taken the money out of these envelopes, do me a favor. Give me the empty envelope. This is what I'm going to do with the empty envelope. I'm going to put it. What did uh, Morris and Lord do the last time they've been here? At the Wailing Wall. They put the envelope at the Wailing Wall. It works. And this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to let you take this envelope, sow a seed into it. After the money has been taken, make sure between now and next Thursday, we have the empty envelopes. And I will personally make sure we put it at the Wailing Wall. The good news is that. General uh, Commissioner is coming with us. Barbara is coming. I am going. I might have going. Bright too is going. Bright there. When yeah, the last time Commissioner of CIA look at his face, a foolish boy. Me nyang a bodyguard. Why? She look at Commissioner of CIA. is a bodyguard. Look at Bright. Bright going and say, Sir, Sir, I just came with Doctor Ted. Say nyang wa. Me zumi nyang a bodyguard. I will travel free like that. Not many people even get to travel with their people like that. Bright has no limitation in his life until he dies. There's no country I go to that he doesn't come with me. So when he's talking about the gospel, he talks about with boldness. When Bright is talking about miracles, he talks with it boldness. He says, yes, I've seen it before. When I'm preaching and Bright sees a short leg, he will go and carry them, bring Papa, my home view, my home view, short leg. When you see a blind eye, you go and carry the paper. There's a blind eye. Ah, God, he said, Papa, when you see the miracle, you get excited. The same miracles. This is what I'm about to do for you today. Pastor, I want to sow a seed into this. And I want this envelope to be sent to Israel at a willing war. I don't know what you have asked God. I don't know what you have prayed about. But I'm doing this thing from the depth of my heart. And it's not a money for me, by the grace of God. Yeah, here say, Pastor, I can sacrifice 1,000 Ghana cities specifically. Come and take this for me. Come and take this for me. I know you've given and given and given, but there's something you are believing God for. There's something you are believing God for. There's one particular miracle. He has done so many for you, but there's one particular miracle he has not done yet. Say, Pastor, I'm believing. Please come. I want as many people as possible. And what I'm doing now, it's from the depth of my heart. Pastor Steve, Pastor Stanley, I love you people. I'm going to be putting this thing. After you give me, just make sure, give me the empty, and when you take the envelope, speak over it. I'm waiting for the next person. Come quickly. What I'm doing now, if you are sensitive enough, you will know this is another form of sacrifice. Get up. Get up. About your marriage, about your children, about your home, about your life, about your business, about your health. The wisest thing you can do is this move I've given you. What I'm saying now, if you are sensitive, you will not let this privilege pass you by. You will never let this privilege pass you by. Pastor Steve, as usual, you know I could have been praying for the sick by now, I could have been laying hands, but this thing, a country, you know, I didn't say for somebody. Somebody has believed God. You've prayed certain prayers. You've prayed. Some of you, as beautiful as you are, is ugly and foolish men who propose to you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but so it's very painful when ugly man is proposing to you because you are not married. (laughs) 
About two weeks ago, two weeks ago, eh, okay, I won't say this. Barbara will be upset with me. But somebody came to our house. Hmm? Somebody came to our house eh? and took picture with somebody. I'm out of you. And what happened? What happened? Kemole. What happened? Ah. Okay. The gentleman came that he was courting a lady mm -hmm. and they have to go for counseling mm -hmm. and they've been asked to go to the hospital to go and run some tests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he was crying. Mama. I say he, he was, was crying. crying. I say, why are you crying? Go and do the tests. Say, Pastor, hey. I say, you see, and you want to marry the lady. Uh -huh. I say, uh, I don't know what kind of prayer you are praying here. But this thing I'm saying is specific. It's not appeal for fun. You have believed God for something. Some of you seated here today. Anytime you get so close to your miracle, some foolish person come and take it from you. That some of you here like that. Some of you, even the man that you're supposed to get, somebody crossed you. Some of you, the business. Some of you are seated here today and you just cannot tell. You are not lazy. You are not stupid. But things are not working. Get up and do this thing. I'm looking for some five people in this congregation that should not miss this thing I'm doing today. And you better come. And I'm counting them. Number one, come. Number two, come. Number three, come. Number four, come. You better don't miss this at all. If anybody should miss the privilege to sow. And, and don't forget, we are talking about sacrifice. Life is connected to what I'm saying. Don't. One thousand. So why did you call one thousand? Yes, it's not appeal for funds. So it's not give one thousand here, give two hundred. No, no. And it's not by force. I'm waiting for you. I'm still waiting for the last two. Don't struggle. It's not about the money at all. And don't be too arrogant. Evangelism and sacrifice is also something that you should be mindful of if you have ego or pride. You can't be too big to come and stand for this offering. You can't be. I'm sorry. But Steve, I want you to know when I come to this church, I feel like it's my church. A matter of you, when I go to a church, what makes me stay bright? What makes me stay long? And when I don't love God, what do we do normally? I'm gone. I can preach nicely. 30 minutes, hey, the man came in, does it. I'm gone. 30 minutes, I'm gone. When I do that, they know that oh, the papa is not comfortable with the church. If I go to a church and I'm comfortable, what do I do? You preach for a long time. I preach a long time. I stay, I do everything. But, and you will not know. Don't forget that. Would I have been too arrogant? I've been on TV longer than any of you in Ghana. Okay. Oh, yes, that's the truth. Any of you, including the big guys in ministry, I've been permanently on Metro TV from day one. How many of you have watched me on Metro TV when you were kids? Yes. I've been consistent. So even though still I don't live formally in Ghana, I'm still popular in Ghana. This is not arrogant, this is the truth. And the, the truth too is that a lot of them, when they sit in the plane from here, nobody knows them again. Because when they go, they go and preach in Ghana church, and in there, I don't preach in just Ghana church. Don't bring yourself. I'm talking to you, not your pastor. Oh, hey, Tommy Poo. But do you understand what I'm saying? So, have I gotten the last five? Okay. Father, I agree with Pastor Steve. I agree with Pastor Stanley. Pastor Steve and Stanley, please join me here. Let's do this thing. This is very spiritual. Let's do it. Let's do it. Please join me here, man of God. Let's do it. Also, please, let's be here. Also, also let's stand here. Let's do this thing. I agree with my brothers over your lives. Jesus name. I pray that this seed you are sowing. Jesus name. And this envelope that is going all the way to Israel. Make whatever you have ever believed God for. Yes, Lord. Will also be made manifest. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And that you not lack, you not lose, you not be a victim. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Number one, I've given you numbers. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. Not really ourselves. Number ten. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Say with me Say Father This envelope Will see the promised land This envelope Will be in Jerusalem This envelope Will be placed On the altar Of the wailing wall This envelope Will see God And connect God Whatever I say over this envelope will be God given. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me. How many of you can bring it tomorrow on Sunday? If all of you can bring it on Sunday, the better. After service, after taking it off, or Osofo, let us just have the empty envelopes. Osofo, Steve, did you take an envelope? 26. Who else took an envelope? Osofo, Stanley, Maniefe. 27. I want three more people here to make a perfect normal. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Hey, Kelly, hey, is he there? Is he here? Is he roaming? Is he... There's something about Kelly people don't know. Kelly used to be my wife's little boy or son in school. When my wife was the school prefect in Accra Academy, Kelly was a toddler in Form 1 or Form 2. Form. Okay. So Barbara look after them. Now they are old men. Food to eat, eh? Every lunchtime. My wife used to give you food to eat. Every okay. Yeah. When I got married to Barbara, a lot of Accra Academy boys gave, say, ah, Barbara was crazy when she was in Sisbo. And she was the first girl to become a school prefect in Accra Academy. So it was a big deal. So we have a lot of them like that. And sometimes they come to my house and eat my food. Jesus Christ. <laughs> eh? So, 28. 29. 30. 31. 32. Stand to the What are you doing to your life? You are changing your life. Now take your seats. Every one of you take your seats. Okay. I've given you numbers because I'm also believing God with you. Eh, eh? Yeah, write your number on it. Write your name at least on it. But don't write your telephone number. Just write your name and the amount. Now the reason why I don't want you to write your telephone number is that the world has become very dangerous. I'm going to be leaving it at the wailing wall. I don't know who picks it and makes use of your number. I cannot be very transparent to you. So just write your name. God knows your name. Even if you are writing a prayer request, just code it. I have a way. My wife says I have a way of writing my prayer request. I can say something. Father, I'm praying over Barbara. I write circle. Barbara. Father, I'm praying over David. I write circle. Father, I'm praying over Martha if you are writing. Father, I way of prayer. I mean, there was some sign I did. She knew it was about her. So I stopped making that sign about her. I do. That's all. When I can just drop it at the wailing wall. God knows why you prayed. Speak over this envelope. Let me help somebody here. Say, Pastor, I want to be part of this thing. And I want to do it too. I can sow 200. Why did I jump from 1,000 to 200? Because I want you to be part of it. Run here. And if you are coming, as you come here, God is touching your heart to sow 500. Stand to my left here. This is according to your faith. Everybody with 200 stand to the right here. Quickly, but anybody who wants to sow 500, stand to my left here. And what I'm doing now, for all you know, is your life. I could have done this thing easily on Sunday. 500 here. One, two, three, 
four. Anybody with five hundred, come. Four, five hundred. You are great as you are, only one. Walk upon the sea, raise the dead. One, five, two hundred. To reign in majesty, holy one. Five, six, Everything seven, you're eating about you is great. You are great, yes, you are all you are. You walked upon the sea, raised the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great. You. I got thirty-five of the twos. Where are you coming from? Thirty-six. 36, I'm looking at, you're doing mathematics here. 36, 500, 500, you are six. I want four more people to make 40. And if you are here, you have not made it, quickly come. Sign off and be part of it. One, two, three, four, come quickly. Do it. Do it. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Beautiful. I like your height and your heels too. What's your name? Hiram. Oh, Hiram. I like it. I, I, there are certain things I like. She's tall and she's on height. And you have your cash already. Jesus Christ. I love you. Even the devil knows I love you. 42. No, no, my wife will tell her, I like, there are certain things I just like. She's tall and she's wearing heels. Like, my wife says I like crazy things. It is beautiful. And you know, you're going to get married to who? I'll come. Do you want me to come to your marriage? Maybe the guy is happy here. Is he there? <laughs> Tell her, I say, I will come. Where is, where is the wedding going to be? The wedding is going to be here. Oh, by me, I will come. Father, uh, oh, then the man has come to, he has to come and do the right thing. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for these ones who have been faithful and sacrificed. Let them receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. Praise the name of the Lord. Take your seats. Huh? Six. Finally, even the devil knows I've done you good. Hundred, run here. Quickly. And I'm counting up to some number. When I finish, I'll stop. One. Two. Three, I know the number I'm talking, if I see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 24, 25, 26, 27,
100 Ghana cities. Can I get one desperate person who is believing God for one particular miracle? Take this one for me. Desperate person. I'm looking for somebody desperate. Somebody who is desperate. Come. I'm looking for somebody who is desperate. Don't worry. I know I've closed late, but it's okay. Wait. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Let us by Sunday morning and write your name on it. And also for after whoever does the account have taken all the monies, give me the empty envelopes. 35, 36. And write on it your name and it's right. That's all. Would not be there. I've seen senior ministers do it and it works. So for some time now I do it. It works. And we do it ourselves. Barbara and I do it. We go. The last week. If those of you have seen my Facebook, you realize that Barbara and I were praying. How many of you have seen it? We're praying. You saw it. We're praying in Israel. Barbara has put on my affair. And the thing about a wailing wall is that Israel. Yeah, Israel. Eh, it's a good place. Eh, the woman has their place to pray. The men. So when I came, I brought Barbara the anointing from the men's place. I, he gave me a prayer request and I took it to the men's place. She couldn't go to the men's place. But I took her envelope to the men's place. 39. 40. I squeeze this. Somebody take it quickly. You want come? You want it? I can squeeze one more for you. Don't worry. Now, what you put on, realize that I'm an economist by profession, so I know how to create scarcity, and it also tells in my ministry. Everything written about you. Is great. I bless you all in Jesus' name. Take your seat. Don't miss the privilege to sow tomorrow. Write if you are right. What for how much? Hmm? It's coming for hundreds. Have I blessed everybody? The widow's mice is also not forsaken. Fifty. And I'll not do anything again. Come quickly. You might be a student or you are on bees and you say, I can sow 50. Come quickly. You are great. You are great. Who takes the money? You are great. Oh, yes. You are great. One, two, you are great. Father, I pray over every man, every woman's life here. I thank you for the real. Please take any envelope at all in your life, any offering, anything. If you have not even given offering, or if you've even given offering, take at least some money in your hands. Come and throw it at the platform as I stand here. Mighty, mighty God, worship, worship you today. today. Right, come and sing this one. We give you all the praise. As we give to you, as I need. 
Everything we think about you is great. You are great, yes, you are holy one. Breath upon the sea, raise the dead. And you reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything we think about you is great. You are 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 great. Oh yeah. You are. Say you are great. You are great. You are great. Everything we think about you is great. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything. Everything we think about you is great. You are 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 great. Oh yeah, you are great. Say you are great. You are great. Worship you today. You are great. Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great. Hallelujah. What a moment with the Lord. Say amen. Are you blessed you came? We are here for graduation tomorrow morning and we have two services on Sunday. It's two joint services on Sunday. One will begin at 7 and finish at 10.30. The other one will finish, will start at 10.30 and close when the Lord closes us. In Jesus' name, say amen. <laughs> And with miracles and testimony and laying on of hands and so many things. Shall we rise and close the service? Tips, CDC, uh, DVDs are all available at the, at, the, at the information desk. Make sure you get copies of CDs, DVDs of the preachings. There is something I want you to know. Anytime you come forward, that is why the man of God was numbering it. Because he wants to see how much God used him to bring into the offerings. So when you, when you know that you cannot make, do a pledge, don't come forward for it. But when you come forward for it, you must make sure that by the end of the service on Sunday, it is at the altar. So write your name, put Israel, the word Israel on it, and then we'll parcel it, put it nice in a container and send it to his office so that they will carry it to Israel, that the willing will Make sure that that envelope, I've taken one envelope, I'm bringing it in on Sunday. I don't want trouble. Say amen. It is better not to pledge at all than to pledge and not pay. So if you know that you've taken an envelope, you know you can't bring it, then return the envelope to the altar so that you don't bring any problems to yourselves. Amen. Dr. Ampia Kofi gave a lot of envelopes, so those of you who didn't bring it, bring it by Sunday. Your hands are lifted. From the
face shine upon you. Lord, lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Peace within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Amen. God bless you.